Daisy gets a cup of ice cream every night. I don't get that. In various reloading videos, I've occasionally made a mistake. I felt sure I'd made a mistake, and I'm going to have to I tell my viewers, well, I've got to take a, the little hammer thing and knock all the, all the bullets out of these cases and start over. Because I, I just feel like that I've made a mistake in there. I've either loaded some too heavy or some too light. <clears throat> and uh, the, there's inevitably suggestions from the viewers that, no, don't take them apart. Just weigh them and, and you'll be able to find which ones are too heavy and which are too light. And I keep saying, no. The components there's too much difference in the weight of the components and I don't think anybody believes me so today we're going to take 10 empty cases 10 bullets and 10 loaded cartridges we're going to weigh them and we're going to find out whether we could weigh these and tell if they've got the right amount of powder in them or not so let's just get right on with it all right, here's the samples for the experiment. 10 cases, 10 bullets, 10 cartridges. We'll start off by weighing the cases, then we'll weigh the bullets, then we'll weigh the filled cartridges. We'll see how that comes out. And I'm gonna write down the weight of each thing even on a small device you might can see that first case forty seven point nine grains Okay, so here's the data sorted out from lightest to heaviest. From the lightest case to the heaviest case, there was 4.5 grains of difference. From the lightest bullet to the heaviest bullet, there was 1.4 grains difference. From the lightest cartridge to the heaviest cartridge, there was 5.6 grains of difference. And I'd like to point out we were doing a cartridge that's supposed to be have a maximum of 3.2 grains of powder. So just in the difference between the weights of these components that 3.2 grains of powder would get lost. You can't weigh these bullets and say well this one's got the right amount of powder and this one's short. You just can't do it. You can't weigh these cartridges and say that because the components vary so much in, in weight. The variation in the cases is, is, is more than a grain heavier than, uh, than the amount of powder. Just, just the variation in the case. Variation in the uh, cartridge after it's loaded is, you know, closing in on twice the difference in the to um, twice the total amount of powder. Just the variation in, in the weight. So that's why I always tell people, no, you can't weigh them and find out which one that you put too much powder in or which one you didn't put enough in or maybe left it out entirely. You just can't do it. I don't believe it. Well, Mr. Viewer or Mrs. Viewer or both, what do you think? Do you think I could weigh these cartridges and, and tell which one has the right amount of powder and which one doesn't? I feel even less secure in, th in that thought than I did before. 
Okay, remember, subscribe, hit one of the buttons, like, dislike it, doesn't matter, and leave a comment. You can you can even say something smart at it if you want to. I enjoy smart at it comments. Alright? And y'all just keep on keeping on.